Try to make Try to rhyme Reading comics Twins are hella sick Start a mix No stop motion today I'm getting a little burned out at Hey! What's up you guys? Sharmus Prime here, doing another NECA Toys action figure review on the 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movies quarter scale foot soldier. I give a big thanks to NECA Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from NECA, check the link in the description below. If you're trying to pick up your NECA Toys figures, you can do so at Entertainment Earth affiliate link in the description below. And you can see we get this nice window box packaging, I really dig it quite a bit, you can see the four turtles. And then on this side you can see some product shots, multiple weapons look pretty cool over there. And on the back you can see some more product shots. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And you can see the packaging kind of wants to fall backwards just a little bit the way it's balanced in there. And then on this side, you can see some more product shots on the top. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then on the bottom, you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is the Foot Soldier, aka Fellow Chucker, out of the packaging, looking awesome with this sculpted detail. It doesn't look like there's a whole ton of paint apps going throughout on this figure, but there is. So we'll get a closer look at that in a minute. But we get a ton of accessories for the Foot Soldier, so I do want to take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the Foot Soldier. So we get a ton of accessories from this figure, and none of them were reused from any of the Ninja Turtles at all. Uh, you get a pair of fisted hands, we get weapon holding hands, we get wider gripping weapon holding hands, and then we get the wide open hands right over there. A little gripe with the hands that I do have is that I wish one set of these weapon holding hands had the side to side hinge but all of these interchangeable hands have the up and down hinge going along with them. And all of the hands have this awesome detail right here. I think that looks great. You do not want to get punched with that. That looks like it would hurt quite a bit. I like the little wrinkles that we're seeing right in there. We get the fingernails sculpted on them and everything. So yeah, that looks very realistic. Looks really good, and I love that NECA has not painted all the joints over here, so that really does help. My review station is thankful for no paint chips or anything like that. Uh, you do get a little bit of the paint from the hands wearing on to the weapons. As you can see, we get this pair of nunchucks right over here, and this has the rope right in there, but you can wipe that paint off pretty easily. It's not too much of a bother. And then we get these right here that have this metal grip going on. You can see some of the paint kind of leaving onto the black portions, but we get the metal chain, which is very cool. I like that. Let's spin that around. That's pretty awesome. Now we get the one side. Looks really good with that silver paint. Dig that. Not too pointy or anything. That is very cool. You can see some of that flesh tone right there. Uh, we get a baton. Looks pretty good. And then we also get this awesome sword. Uh, I really dig that quite a bit. Not too pointy or anything, but beautiful silver paint. I love that. That is pretty awesome. And then we get this axe right here, which looks really good too. You have some nice wear on it and everything. Nice paint detail. Dig it. Nothing's too pointy. And then the inside of this is all hollow, so it's not solid plastic, so it does not weigh down the figure or anything. So the head sculpt on this figure looks freaking amazing. I especially like how the goggles came out on this figure. They look really good with that detail in there. I love that silver paint. Uh, these little holes right over here look really good too. I'm liking that. That is pretty awesome, but it did come with a little bit of a black scuff right there. So that's a little unfortunate, not a big deal though. And then on the side right here, you get some nice wrinkles around the ears. And I love that we get this elastic fabric right over here for the bandana. So I really like that a lot. That is pretty awesome. And then nice wrinkles on the top of the head there and everything. That is looking sick. And then looking at the rest of the figure, they have this nice touch of blue added to the black, which I think is so awesome because it just adds another level of detail here that they didn't really have to take the extra step for, but they did, man, and it just looks really good. Uh, you have this elastic band just right above the waist right over here, too. I think this is primarily for weapon storage, so that's pretty neat that you could do that. So, you know, I was able to get him storing all kinds of weapons, like, you know, we have nunchucks right over here. Just pull that, and then, you know, just attach like that. So that's really cool if you want to do that. Uh, looking at the arms, that looks great. I love how these guards look right over here. That looks incredible. Really digging that. Have that on this side right over here too. Nice paint detail throughout. And you can see some nice detail right here on the straps. And then looking at this waistband right here, that looks really good. Again, just the sculpted detail throughout is just impeccable on this thing. I love it. Loving that, man. And then even on the joints right over here, it's all sculpted. Not on that joint, but on that one, you can see it. And then you get the straps and everything. And then the feet right there, you get the ninja toes. Not looking too bad. And then he does have pickles at the bottom of the feet, as well as sculpted treads. And then here's just a look at the back of the figure one more time. you got your foot soldier butt. And of course, you still have your foot soldier back. Now, before posing around your neck of toys figures, I recommend you heat it up with a hair dryer. I did that. And you get some good head articulation over here. You can move the head up that far, which is pretty sweet. And you can 
can't move the head downward that much. You get side to side motion and you get a good amount of neck pivoting right over here too. The shoulders move outward this far and you can move them down all the way. You can rotate forward and rotate back. No bicep swivel, but we do get double jointed elbows in here and you get rotation at the elbow and then all the wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down. You get a waist joint that could turn side to side. You get a bit of waist pivoting and it'll move forward just a little bit and back a little bit. The hip joints can click outward that far. Yep, and you can get them kicking forward quite a bit as well. And they'll move back some. You get an upper thigh swivel or a hip swivel right there. Double jointed knees that bend in quite a bit. And then it's a pretty stiff hinge downward, but you can move the feet downward. And you can get them to move upward just the tiniest bit. And we get some decent ankle pivot. That knee joint pinched the skin pretty good right there. Now to measure out the height of this foot soldier, I'm measuring him to be about the height of 17 and a half inches tall. And then for a quarter scale TMNT comparison, we have the foot soldier next to Raphael. And I think the height difference between these two is perfect. I think the turtles should be a little bit shorter than the average human. And then for NECA Toys foot soldier comparison, we have our quarter scale foot soldier next to the cartoon version seven inch scale. And I cannot wait to see a seven inch scale of this one or that quarter scale shredder that one looks amazing i saw that over at toy fair and then here's the quarter scale foot soldier next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time classic spider-man i'm sorry no stop motion once again you guys i'll be taking a break from making videos after this weekend is over i just need to recharge the batteries but i really like this figure it looks awesome i really dig it quite a bit i think NECA did a great job not just with the sculpted detail but i love the paint apps they added some depth with the figure that i didn't think that they could actually do so so I think that is really cool and I love the weapons. The articulation makes it very fun. At the price point of about $90, I'm giving this a sud rating of It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And a big thank you to all the patrons that support this YouTube channel. I really do appreciate your guys' support. If you're interested, link below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And don't forget to follow me on the social media over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links to everything down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure I Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.